All right, we're going to just talk a little bit about basic strategy. Um, and I want to record this now because um, when I'm playing a game, uh, I might be human, I might be Cylon, um, and so I'll, I might have ulterior motives. Um, and I, I want to make sure that I've, I'm recording this now when I'm not playing a game so you can go look and uh, see just kind of some of the things that uh, I recommend <clears throat> because you may or may not be able to trust me during a game. Um, and that's part of the game. All right, so uh, you know, if, if you watch the tutorials already, you have a basic idea of, of the different parts of the game board. I'm going to go into a little more detail about um, you know who should be doing what and um, what uh, you know different spaces on the board are are for. So we'll start with uh, there's Galactica here, Colonial One, the Cylon locations are over here, um, and so let's see Galactica, uh, Colonial One. Cylon locations right there, okay, uh, and we'll cover them kind of in that order, uh, and then we'll also talk about um, the uh, the jump track uh, and the um, boarding track. So uh, let's uh, talk about those. Uh, actually, we'll first talk about uh, the jump track because that's kind of the most important part of the game. So over here we have the jump track, and you move down the jump track. Um, in this first section on the jump track. Okay, you cannot jump, but once you get, um, if you get to this last section here, okay, then you'll jump automatically, um, but in these two middle spaces, okay, they're often called blue minus three and blue minus one, um, in those two middle spaces, you can jump if you activate uh, FTL control, faster than light control is what that stands for. If you, if you activate this location, it will jump the, sh the fleet, okay, and you will leave. And the nice thing is when you jump, any, um, any ships that are out here on the board get removed, um, which uh, generally, uh, you know, is a good thing. Um, and uh, so, so that's good. Um, and you, you might still get a crisis, or you will still get a crisis on that turn, but you might actually even get a jump icon. So you might, um, you know, jump, like say if you jump from negative three, you might jump all the way to the start, then get a jump icon and be like right back here. You know, so you can actually make some good progress, uh, but there is a risk of you have to roll a die, and I think if it's uh, six or less, then you lose whatever the population is. And in this case, it's minus three, and then on this space, it's minus one, okay? Now, that sounds like a lot, like, oh my gosh, we lose three population. Okay, but you have to understand um, that that's weighed against the fact that um, there you need one, two, uh, you know, you need, if you're on this space, you need one, two more jump icons to get to jump. And um, you don't get a jump icon on every single um, crisis. So you probably need like three more crises to get that jump, to, you know, to, to get to here. So what are the chances of you losing, you know, three resources over the course of three crises? Well, pretty good. Okay, so it's actually a decent balance, um, you know, and uh, I tend to think, you know, uh, as a human player that it's generally a good idea to jump on negative three, and it's almost always a good idea to jump on negative one, okay? Um, not, I mean, if you're, if you're hurting on population or you're worried about population, um, then that's that's different. But if you don't have any reason to be concerned about population, then I'd, I would think very seriously about jumping on these two blue spaces, okay? Um, it is a valid strategy. And just because somebody says, like, hey, I think we should jump on minus three, that does not mean they're a Cylon. Um, that is a perfectly valid strategy and should be considered seriously. Um, and But there's a lot of people who disagree with that. So just because someone disagrees with it doesn't mean, oh, you're a Cylon because you don't want to jump on negative three. Um, but just just understand, it's you know the the game is intentionally ba balanced. Okay, I tend to I tend to to want to jump early because if you know it, it just seems to be a, a good strategy for the most part. Um, so that's uh, that's the jump preparation track, um, and then we're going to go ahead and talk about the uh, some of the. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and talk about the boarding party track. Okay, while we're over here. Uh, the boarding party track is really straightforward. Uh, when a heavy raider gets into uh, you know sector five or six and then activates again, 
uh, they they end up on in the start location on the boarding party track, and then every time heavy raiders activate, they advance. And if they if you get enough heavy now heavy raiders do not activate very often. And when you say well, what, when does a heavy raider activate? They activate on um, uh, you know on on a crisis card that has a heavy raider symbol on it. And most of them you know don't have heavy raider symbols on them. Most of them have a uh, you know, a base star or a raider symbol on them. You know, but if it if you do get enough activations that a heavy raider get or a, a centurion gets to the end of the boarding fighter track, then the humans lose. So, not ideal unless you're a Cylon. Um, now, one of the things to be aware of, though, that is that um, the once you have activated Cylons, um, they can actually choose what gets activated okay so um, like right here on the Cylon fleet we'll talk about that in a little bit um, but uh, you can activate all Cylon ships of one type um, and so uh, if if you end up with Centurions on the boarding party track and then you have a revealed Cylon he can come over here and start pushing that Centurion forward really fast and Centurions are hard to kill so if you have revealed Cylons and a Centurion on the boarding party track, that's dangerous. Okay, um, so okay, enough of the, the, about the, the boarding party track. Um, let's go and talk a little bit about the Galactica spaces and what they can do. And I think I'll go ahead and just put that in uh, in a separate video. So I've talked about the the jump preparation track and uh, the boarding party track. <laughs> 